Uh, welcome to the official IBU press conference after women's must start here in Pukliuka. Yes. With us, the winner, Lisa Teresa Hauser of um, Austria. Lisa, I took a perfect rate, a race today, your first 2020 of the season, to, to beat these three sprinting Norwegians behind you. How did you see today's race? Um, yeah, it's uh, just uh, unbelievable. Um, I heard already three times zero um, in the individual race, and I had the last and the 19th shot was a miss. So I thought before last shooting today, I thought, okay, Lisa, don't do the same mistake again, again, like in the individual race. And today yeah, I just tried to, to do a calm um, standing shooting and it worked so well that I had four times zero. Um, yeah, it's just amazing. And how did you approach this last shooting? How did you block the experience you mentioned from the individual? Um, yeah, I really um, thought by myself, okay, Lisa, you should calm down. It's um, about the medal today again. <laughs> um, don't do the same miss like in the individual and I knew I uh, can shoot really well in standing. Um, we had a little bit, uh, a small gap between the rest of the girls, um, Bindika, Baiba and me. Um, I already heard that she... <laughs> Um, she had a miss, um, so I was uh, just um, stayed focused by myself and say, okay, now everything counts. Um, so, but I had um, four times zero today. It's just amazing. And when do you start this converse conversation with yourself? Don't miss, don't repeat the mistake. Um, yeah, just the before shooting or coming onto the shooting range? Um, coming already to the shooting range, the last uh, 300 meters on the track. Um, I thought by myself, okay, you can do it today. <laughs> and you had an, a quite, a, a, let's say, great opening to the World Championships, then two minor disappointments. How did you regroup and recharge? It's, it's a long stay here at the World Championships. Yeah, I think um, I, had, I do all the races here um, in Bokluka now at the World Champs. But I think um, all girls from us um, are alre already tired from the, the races. Um, it was really a tough uh, day today on the track. Um, the conditions were a little bit soft and not so fast. So it was um, just put the, the whole rest of your power into the track. So. But everything worked out so well for me today. And it's just amazing to be here now as a world champion. And what does this medal, it's a gold win, uh, mean for uh, Austrian biathlon? It's quite a... A lot of sports that are strong in Austria. Yeah, um, it's just um, so crazy to be here now as a world championship, world champion, um, and uh, from Austria. It's historic um, history for Austria and Badlon, um that a woman is winning gold, <laughs> and uh, it's just so beautiful and amazing to be the one who won it. Well done, thank you, and congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, second place, silver medal, went to Ingrid Landmark Tandrewold of Norway. Ingrid. Hello. Hello. When you went into the, uh, this last loop, you had uh, Vitoz in front of you and Marta in front of you, but I guess you also sensed Thierry will try something from behind. So how did you mentally approach this last loop? Uh, at first, I was just trying to catch uh, Marta and, and and have her back, and, and I saw we were uh, coming closer to Lisa. And when we when we um, passed her, I I thought that uh, okay, this is good because now we're fighting for silver and not for bronze and fourth place. Um, and and I just tried to be behind Marta and was waiting for the the finish the sprint. But then I heard that uh, Tiril was coming from behind and I was like, shit, <laughs> <laughs> because uh, we train uh, together every day and I have uh, never beat her ever, ever in a sprint. So uh, I just uh, felt I, I just had to go and, uh, and use all my powers on the last two minutes and, and try to get the gap. And how much self-confidence has the medal in the individual given you? Because we have never seen you so strong in crucial moments so far? Uh, I think it was really important for me to prove to myself that uh, that I am strong in, in tough uh, 
situations and, and that I can manage the last uh, standing. Uh, so for me, it was uh, it was uh, something just uh, clicked from from the individual, and and today I was uh, so calm on the shooting range and just focused on myself. I used uh, maybe a bit too much uh, time compared to the others, but uh, felt strong in the course, so I could uh, catch them. And what triggered this your transformation? Let's say from first half of the season to this stellar performance here in Pukyuka. Uh, I think uh, for me it was to go home after Antols and and just uh, be the normal uh, Ingrid and, and not the biathlete Ingrid and, and to to realize that uh, the people uh, close to me they they love me even though I'm <laughs> bad in biathlon uh, so and to realize that uh, my life is uh, pretty good it's just uh, the biathlon. Uh, it's uh, maybe not the best so I think that was very important for me and I'm really glad I came here to these uh, championships with a lot of uh, uh, yeah, positive vibes and, uh, and felt uh, uh, very calm and, and happy <laughs> and can you just compare the intensity of world championships when you have so many big decisions following each other to the, world, to the regular World Cup schedule uh, yeah, for me, it's uh, not so many more competitions than in the uh, World Cup because I didn't compete in the mixed or the single mixed. But uh, I think it's it's a lot more press uh, and it's a lot more uh, fighting for the only the medals. Uh, but uh, I think we're exceptional in the team to just keep the spirit up and and have fun and relax. Uh, and uh, just uh, know that uh, doing our best is good enough. And you have now put yourself in the position to also challenge for the blue bib. Could this be, uh, this be something you can focus on after the highs of these world championships? Uh, yes, definitely. After these uh, championships, I'm so motivated for the last part of the season and 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 to just uh, continue with the good shooting and the patient on the shooting range and and to find uh, to continue to find back to myself as a biathlete. Thank you and congratulations again. And bronze went to Tiril Ekov of Norway, of course the most decorated athlete here in Pukluka. Tiril, uh, where did you find the energy for this last loop? <laughs> um, it suddenly came to me like two kilometers until the finish line that I had a possibility for a medal. And uh, I don't know where the energy com came from, but uh, I got really good energy on the last the last kilometers. And, and when you... Um put so much effort like you did in the last sprint. Is this an instinct or how do you, what can you lean on to generate such, such power in <laughs> after two weeks of very difficult racing here? Uh, well, uh, today I had a really, really good shape and uh, I had really good skis as well. So it was uh, a dream to, to go around there and I see all the girls are getting tired, but I was, Really eager to get the medal today and had a little bit bad shootings, but uh, I was really offensive and I tried my best, so I'm very pleased. And it's your fifth medal here in Pukluka. Can you just tell us how difficult it is to achieve something like, like this, sixth. especially sixth, sixth, to keep, sorry, <laughs> to keep um, <laughs> physical and emotional um, form on such a high level? For over two weeks uh, I think it's so much easier to when you're on the wave in biathlon you it's very easy to be shooting good uh, it's much harder when you you don't manage the shooting uh, so I, I I'm very happy that I managed to make a good uh, uh, shape for this world championship uh, you've mentioned six medals here uh, can you just reflect a year back to Antholz when nothing went your way and what transformation did you do to deliver big time here in Pukluka? I was really, uh, 
it was really hard the championship last year uh, I got some medals from the relays but uh, um, then I was really was really hard in in the head and did not manage to shoot well uh, I guess that championship made this championship so well because I was so eager to manage it better and um, yeah I never give up and now I I become I got a lot of medals and your team and you especially it seemed always has a really good skis can you tell us about how important it is for you knowing you you have such a good team behind you well, uh, our waxmen is uh, incredible. They work harder than us. They ski way beyond us. And they are very serious. And I'm really, really uh, happy with the guys. And we are such a good team. And it's uh, it's like a family. Uh, and I really, I care for all the waxmen. And today they manage some really, really good skis. And... I have to be really thankful because of all these medals wouldn't be without the waxman. You've been fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you.